as you can see, I only have an envelope. Uh, there is nothing fancy. But I do have inside a dollar bill. Okay. It doesn't really matter the value. But I want to show you right in here that this dollar bill doesn't have any rips or any special foldings. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold it in half approximately. Okay. And I'm just going to put it right behind. Just going to wrap it around the envelope as well. Okay. Now watch very closely because by snapping the fingers, the bill is right through the envelope. All the way through, as you can see pretty closely. By taking the dollar bill right out the envelope, you can see that there is nothing to suspect from the envelope nor the dollar bill. And if they want, they can examine the dollar bill. And if you wish, they can touch inside the envelope as well. Okay, you go to this video footnote, you see that I have two files. They are PDF. Uh, it is a free file you can download. And uh, you have to print it from inside a PDF file, so it comes at the right size. I have, um, this is the coin envelope inside, and the second file is the coin envelope outside. Let's assume you are going to print out this uh, layout, the coin envelope, the inside first. Uh, this is going to be the top portion of it, the first part that it's going to print. Then turn it over, and this is going to be the outside. Make sure when you print the layout the, from the outside, this is going to be the first part that is printing, not the last one at the end. And um, these dollar signs should be on the thin part of the envelope, because this is important. It must align one of the dollar signs, the line, from this thin narrow line from the inside of the envelope and not that thickest part of the envelope. And when you get this sheet of papers, this is for drawing purposes, you can draw and therefore this is thicker. The paper is a little thicker than the conventional ones, okay, otherwise the ink is going to be visible. I mean, it's still a bit visible, but not as much as the other ones. And this is all you're going to do. Just cut around the dark lines all the way around very carefully. Do not cut in between these two envelopes. Now this continuous line you see over here, you are going to cut it very carefully. In this case you have to be very precise. As you can see the continuous line is where you're going to cut and the dotted line is where you're going to fold. For example, you're going to fold right here. The dotted line. I'm trying to fold these cutted pieces first. So it is more precise before both sections of the envelope inside. Now, as you can see, this part is stretched from the dollar sign. That goes below, and then the other one goes right above. Okay. Then the bottom piece. That is going to be the last part you are going to fold. Now, for this, I'm going to use a dry glue or glue stick. Uh, which I guess is the most efficient, so it doesn't produce any wrinkles on the paper. I unfold these pieces. I will begin by adding glue right here. Then I'm going to glue the bottom piece of the envelope. Then the same with this second piece, second part of the envelope. Now be careful, make sure it is aligned, this edge right here. And glue it all the way to the end. Take your time. Then this piece the bottom piece, and then finally the outside of the envelope. Now if by any chance you get these little flaps outside of the envelope, just go ahead and cut it, but you don't really have to. Usually when you take your time and you do it slower, it's more perfect. So then you fold this final piece. Okay, and this is going to be the main secret for the whole trick. Now what I like about this effect, you can fit this coin envelope inside your wallet. Okay. You have one dollar bill already folded. Notice I have this side is a bit longer, about one centimeter, a little less, just this much. Fold it in half again and just put it into the envelope, the inner layer. Now, when you show the envelope, you want to show this side, you need to fold it, but you have to be very careful with these little corners because of the flap. Okay. I try not to show too much this side, but if I do it, I need to fold 
to create some resistance but just for a couple seconds to show this other one then unfold it when I open I always cover this flap with the palm of my hand so it looks more subtle and you can show the inside of the envelope so they know it is nothing in there and you have to be careful when you show the front because this flap it may go back and it's really difficult to keep it perfectly aligned to the eye level of the spectator so if you show for example more toward this side by tilting the envelope you can just pinch right here instead or you show more toward the bottom side you see right here in the corner just pinch down here instead okay so usually I always pinch right about because I'm showing more toward this edge so they don't see this little corner and then I unfold the dollar bill and um, when I just put the long side of the dollar bill right uh, on the envelope and I try not to make it too obvious by sliding all the way down the dollar bill uh, into the flap or the envelope so I just slide it a little bit and then I wrap it around the envelope and then before I turn it over then I can slide it all the way down cover with your fingers do the gestures and now you can unfold the dollar bill you can let go the envelope but you need to create some tension on the dollar bill you need to use the index and middle finger and the thumb pushes against over here as well so you can let go the envelope and it's not falling because you're folding the dollar bill just show it for a couple seconds otherwise if you don't create the tension on the dollar bill the envelope is gonna fall okay so you have to be careful okay so you have to let go and reach the envelope quickly and just do a couple moves with the envelope from side to side like that don't wait until it hits the bill because it's gonna look suspicious just move it really subtle and then the bill in circular motions okay very smooth just a couple times then I move from here my hand to here my middle finger has to be right above this section of the envelope and my thumb right below right over here okay like that and the index is right here ready for a final move which is taking the dollar bill outside of the envelope but right when you take it out you have to fold the envelope okay so this flap is not seen by the spectator by putting some uh, tension on the envelope so and you can let go and fold it so you can turn it over and you're still pinching right here this corner and showing obviously more toward this edge of the envelope than the bottom edge so they don't see this little corner from the flap and pinching right over here then I cover uh, this flap by bringing the envelope right under my hand and then I show the dollar bill it is completely intact in one solid piece you can let the spectator touch inside the envelope just in case there are some cuts, slits or something and it happens to me a couple of times when they want to reach and touch it and I keep and I keep it on my hand and they can touch it, there is nothing you can even show it because of that dual layer which is the nice thing about it and you're done at this point <laughs>